There's growing concern in Florida over a number of bizarre crimes linked to a street drug called Flocka. It's one of the newer chemicals in the booming so-called designer drug market. The drug can be snorted, smoked, injected, or even swallowed. So what is this new drug? Here to talk about it is Dr. John LaPook. So John what Flocka. is Flocka, John? Flocka is the latest in these generation of amphetamine-like drugs. So it's the next thing after you know, Molly, MDMA, ecstasy, mm -hmm. these are things that increase the amount of amphetamine, of, of amphetamine effect in your body. What amphetamines do is they increase dopamine, the pleasure chemical, and serotonin, and norepinephrine, all these neurotransmitters that can make you initially more alert, euphoric, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, there are a lot of side effects. And what are some of those side effects? Well, you're hearing about the, the, this aggression, the super strength, people coming in. Um, it reminds me of, of angel dust in the early 80s, fenciclinine, right. PCP. And I was in the emergency room at Columbia back then, and I'd know somebody who came in dusted because they'd come in with seven, you know, policemen holding down every part of their body, and they would be like, have superhuman strength. And it sounds like this is a very similar thing. When you have this flood of too much of all these neurotransmitters, you can have uh, too high of a temperature, your blood pressure can go up, you can actually seize. You, you know, you know, if you've seen somebody who's taking an amphetamine drug, you know their eyes, their pupils dilate, mm -hmm. they can have pet sweaty palms, those are kind of mild side effects, but the serious one can lead to irregular heartbeat, seizure, death, too much uh, uh, high blood pressure, uh, uh, high temperature in the body, and, and, and every single organ system, if you just go down them, every single organ system can be affected. We, in fact, we have video uh, from earlier showing a guy who was high on this stuff trying to break down the door of a police station. There it is right there, uh, which just shows you what it also does to your logical and rational reasoning. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, inside of your brain, what's happening is uh, the temperature can go up, and you can actually have bleeding inside of your head. Wow. Uh, so, this is, this, you know, one of the problems with this, aside from you, forget about the philosophical idea of whether you want to be taking mind altering right. drugs. You're taking drugs where you really don't know what's in them. Because these are, we keep saying that they're synthetic. Somebody created them in a laboratory, and Heisenberg kind. Are you trusting your life to some unknown person in some unknown place? who's going to put the exact right dose that you think it has, right. even if you think it's okay to take it. You don't know what it's laced with. You don't know what the dosage is. And then if you start doing things like vaping, where you know you, you, you have a, like an e-cigarette type delivery system, it can go right into your bloodstream. Wow. It can get a really uh, quick effect, quick hit. Um, so you're really, you're really playing with fire. Uh, I looked at a graph earlier, and I saw that ecstasy, criminal activity, uh, use of ecstasy and criminal activity was sort of going down, and now this is kind of going back up. So it's the next wave. I mean, it's kind of spy versus spy versus spy. I guess it's illegal uh, it to have, but you can't make every single solitary chemical illegal. So they change it up a little bit, and then maybe it's harder to detect, or maybe this version's not illegal. And But this sounds more dangerous. You mentioned ecstasy. It sounds more dangerous to ecstasy, because I don't know anything about this, but I know that from reading that ecstasy gives you pleasure. This sounds like it gives you that idea of, like, superhuman strength, which well, makes you aggressive. Well, it's all a matter of dosage, so I think ecstasy has the same problem. It you does. Know, in the right dose, you can get this effect. But, but even in the right dose, these drugs, long-term, can cause organ damage, liver, kidneys, heart irregular heartbeats. There, really, there's no free lunch when it comes to all this. And here, though, when, you hear, when you're talking about vaping it, uh, you know, and having uh, it go right into your bloodstream so quickly, uh, you definitely can get a high dose very, very rapidly. Are they addictive? Amphetamines are addictive. Yeah, they yeah, are. They, so they, they you are can, it can be something like we've seen with crystal meth, for example. Is that considered an amphetamine? Yeah, that is, that is an amphetamine. And they do two things. One is they can have the release of, they, they make the amphetamine-like chemicals and the serotonin and dopamine get released. And then they stop them from getting metabolized or retaken up by the mm -hmm. nerve endings. So you have this flood of neurotransmitters, all of this effect going on, and the body has a natural way of getting rid of it, and it stops that natural way of getting, getting rid of it. Wow. So you have this flood, all of this activity. In, initially, the reason why you take it is it, gives you, it can give you euphoria, and it, increase, it can increase attention, uh, it can increase alertness. But then, uh, again, long term, you're definitely going to be paying the piper. Um, and especially because you have no idea what the dosage is yeah. and you can overdose. Very dangerous. Dr. John LaPoo, thank you so Very much. Glad. All right.